Greetings, travelers, explorers, and survivors. Today, on Squeal's gaming channel, we are getting into Ark Survival Evolved. And before I do anything, um, if you are on Xbox, you can hit left bumper, right bumper, X, and Y. And that'll bring up your console command menu. This game doesn't have any creative type mode like a lot of the other games, so you actually have to legitimately cheat in this one. But I've found you can sort of enable yourself a creative mode by simply typing in GCM. Make sure you hit admin command. It's activated. So now I have this little cool gun which enables me to craft everything without any resources. I can teleport. I can kill any enemy instantly. And uh, I can't die. So that's all cool. This is actually the new map that just came to the game for free called Fjorder, if I'm saying that right. Um, this this video was kind of inspired by me playing this game recently to go ahead and do this new series I'm calling the base showcase and this is where, where we're gonna start we're gonna start with Ark seemed appropriate since this was kind of the game that sort of started this genre of survival building sandbox games I have played this game vanilla but I mostly just cheat with it now we're you know 12 13 maps deep um, this video is gonna be a little heavy on the load screens just because we're gonna be transitioning between about 10 different maps um, I had done a two-part video, actually, of the whole walkthrough of the entire build for this base. However, in the process of transferring transferring files, uh, I lost the first part. So, unfortunately, that video won't be seeing the light of day. So, I went ahead and decided to put this map up first um, on my ARC base showcase. Uh, this is the outside. This is my main base on this map. Pretty cool. Most of this was just kind of here, like how you see it was... Uh, how it was when I got here, I just put in the gates, the force field, and the tames. But then you come back to this area. I almost always do something like this when I'm building Ark nowadays. Um, I go ahead and spawn myself a teleporter when I find somewhere that I want to build, a bed for spawning, and then some storage where I just typically throw building materials and supplies and stuff in. Um, the new creatures for this map were the little bat guy here these characters over here which are fancy because they have a unique saddle that gives them a minigun and then the fjord hawk which is this little guy he rides on your shoulder he's cool because he can fetch your items for you when you die now if you're on pc you might have seen this guy but they also added fenrir which is just a fancier bigger tougher wolf um, similar to the one we already have but those are the new creatures specifically for this map if you're just tuning in because you were curious about uh fjord or the new content but anyway, then we're going to go inside here. And you guys kind of already saw this. This is my main area. Again, this is pretty much just something I found. I came across it. The theme of Fjorder seems to be a lot of cool underground mines and stuff. Um, I found a, cool, a couple cool locations on this map to build in, but it seemed like everything that was really cool was underground. Um, there's this whole lava area here. Um... I had to put some AC in my little main building here, which we'll get to in a second. Or actually, we'll go ahead and look at that right now. Because I've got this whole little base here that was built. Uh, all the little towers kind of just look like this. So I went ahead and decided to build my base on one. And used uh, some crazy pillars to keep me suspended above the ground. Since Ark is a little more limited in how you can build stuff. This is sort of just a two-part base. It's not one of the fanciest things I've done. But I actually did kind of grow more attached to this base as it went along got this little chill area this area is kind of more or less the crafting building uh, two floors of just crafting stations and then I decided to put a little mannequin over here um, I didn't put anything on him yet I have another map that has just a whole bunch of mannequins so I may never even get to that one but oh well um, I got my forge right outside here and then there's this big crystal here, which I thought was really cool, in the center at the end of this bridge where I built another teleporter, and I have a guarding wyvern over there, you can see. Pretty much have a wyvern on almost every map at this point. Um, you come into here, and I've got some storage with also a complicated little bridge system, which would lead you all the way down here to where I just have uh, one of the tames. This guy came out with one of the previous maps. I think it was uh, Genesis Part 1. He's really cool because he's not affected by lava. He can swim around in this, no problem. 
so he just seemed appropriate to put down here. I have turrets kind of all over these caves because when I first came here there were a bunch of bats and spiders all over the place. Some of them still spawn from time to time, but uh, it helps affect you know the spawn rates when you've built in an area kind of like I have. I have a whole established base here so not as much stuff spawns and then even when it does it's got I've got turrets on several walls and along the bridge so this place is fairly secure. Even uh, you go back inside here, we go up to the second floor. This is just kind of a cool little thing and just for show, it's not too functional, but there's even a turret over here, a turret over there. So yeah, you can see I got some protection. Now I have a couple of surveillance systems across different bases and different maps, so it's not something that I really want to focus on as much. But just for the sake of showing off this con this mechanic in the game, um, this little console here, that's in charge of security cameras. You got a little bathroom here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up the security camera console. This is, it would make sense if you guys saw more of the base, but we'll get to all this. This is a little underwater box kind of that I built. There's really nothing down here. It's just a teleporter and the grinder, the industrial grinder. If you look up, um, it's kind of at the bottom of this really deep dark pond like there's really nothing in here I was surprised but it's in the back part of this base that I'm currently in and actually this that little area of water right there the camera that we just saw is at the bottom of that pond but this is actually up at the top this is kind of my glorified cloning chamber this is a back room of this base which we will see in a minute here and then I've got this camera which is sitting on that crystal kind of got a view of my other teleporter and the dragon and then this path here actually leads back to the cloning chamber that I just saw you or that I just showed you guys so I think for the matter of saving time or saving time I probably won't go back there just because we can see it all with cameras um, then this is another room this is a room off to the side I actually did nothing to this at all I didn't even use this room I just put a gate in here to block it off and then a camera to keep an eye on it. Normally there's a whole bunch of spider spawns and stuff over there, all kinds of deadly creatures. And since I didn't want to build anything in here, I didn't see any point in using it. This is the chill area. We were just over there a minute ago. And look at the map. This is a view kind of opposite of where we're at currently. This is, I can see the front gate. This is where we came in. And then last but not least, I have this camera which is, yeah, it's the view outside, back where we also were. So it's right above my main gate in the force field that I had, but looking forward. Let's see above this majestic tree, see the whole distance. Very cool, very cool. And then we're back to the underwater. But that's the whole security camera thing. And then the only other thing left here is, if you just hop down here, I got kind of a little living quarter area. Thought it was cool. You can look through, see all the way to the bottom here. I, I come up with some interesting builds sometimes. They're not always the most uh, conventional builds a lot of the time. Not something that always necessarily makes the most sense, but they do always end up just being cool. I kind of end up having rough ideas when I go into this game, or most building games sometimes. I'll have like a blueprint for an idea in my head, and then once I start building it, it just kind of evolves as I do it. It comes together. It's kind of cool. It's a fun process. Uh, but as far as this base, yeah, these are the two doors. That would lead to the cloning chamber with that uh, pond area. I guess we'll go ahead and take a peek at it real quick. It's a cool area. But yeah, you look down here. It's all taking a second to load in because of how fast I'm moving in. Ark isn't, doesn't like when you're cheating. But it's just kind of like a little, little area with this bottomless water so you can't even see the bottom. It's ridiculous. And effective jump pads even. Sometimes there's spiders in here too, so got turrets, but it seems like I'm pretty much just, I've mostly claimed this area now. And then this is the other room that we don't really use. Now, this was one of, since this is the new map, this is one of my later bases. So most of my later bases get a little bit more complex in the sense that they have multiple locations. So each base I have now pretty much has two teleporters. So we're just gonna look at the various different locations. Now, not all my maps have this sophisticated of a base set up. Some of my maps just have one solid base on it and that's it. There's no real traveling. 
Um, this base here, it's kind of just in the side of a snowy mountain. If you open the door here, you can go outside. And there's some woods ahead, but where I'm situated at, it's at the top of this situation here. <laughs> I don't know if I could call this a mountain, but it's kind of cool. It visually stands out, sort of looks like something you'd actually come across in Skyrim. And when you go in there, there's just this little back room with a well in the back here that has quite the little drop. And there's a little pond of piranhas at the very, very bottom, which I have a platform over, so there's not much chance of falling in. Um, but the jump pad doesn't reach, quite reach the top. It's unfortunate. I was trying to make this part functional, but... I couldn't quite get it to work because once you avoid the piranha pool and get to the bottom of the well, there's this whole hidden little hall here that I built yet another portal at. So this was kind of just like a potential base location that I never really did anything with, but thought it seemed cool. So now we're going to go over to the last outpost location in this map, which I consider New Moria. And it's literally got some Lord of the Rings references for this uh, particular location. So it's fun. I haven't done a whole lot with this one either. But it's another cave. As Like I said, it's just kind of the theme on this map. Um, you got like a little river here with some light wooded areas. And you could almost kind of miss it. It's sort of hidden here on the side. But you got these two little statues and the entrance is pretty obvious. So you come in here and there's this light little hall where I built the teleporter and then this has to load in but yeah you've got then a second hall here all kind of lava looking but it's got a roughed up bridge it takes you down this hallway of stairs and then after you get to the bottom of that I've I've kind of already made this place secure I didn't build a whole lot here I more or less just kind of made it my my territory I guess through a gate there but you come into this is the main area it's just like this huge hall now if you guys will remember this is kind of Lord of the Ringsy, right now you come over here and you've got a doorway on either side um, left and right the left doorway here kind of is another area I just closed off because there's all kinds of hostile spawns out here and this is just kind of a glorified mine pretty cool but I didn't really have any use for it so then you come over here, got another teleporter, some guard mechs, and then you've got this door here, which I also threw a gate in. But when you get through here, minus this tiny little uh, setup I had here on the side, because this is where I wanted to chill inside this massive underground base, there is literally Balin's tomb from Lord of the Rings. It's obviously what they're going for. The only difference is this big bone in the corner but yeah so i thought that was real cool just a little easter egg a little cool location you can build here so you could really actually use this area to do some cool stuff if you wanted you could build a whole base in here maybe it's someday since i lost my original video for the base building i do kind of want you guys to see some uh, some base building i want you guys to go through it with me step by step instead of me just showing you these bases but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the other maps I have to get through some load screens that's pretty much the majority of what you guys saw for that one now we've got a decent amount of maps the the island is the original one and the center is the first free map that came out I don't have anything for those maps uh, I did play them but that was back in the OG days of arc when it was still in like game preview and whatnot it was cool because I had a group of me and three other guys we went pretty hard, we played it legit, farmed everything, built everything normal, and we had two cool setups on those maps, but for whatever reason they both got wiped, and they don't exist anymore. And then every map that's come out since then is when I started cheating. I started cheating technically on the third map, which was also the first DLC map, the first paid map, which we'll get to in a little bit here. The map I'm loading in right now is Crystal Isles. This was one of the free maps. Also another one of the maps that I did a little bit more there were some maps where I got a little bit lazier than others, and then there were some maps that I just didn't like as much. But this map I uh, I did a little bit more on. I actually had my lady help me a little bit here. Gotta always reactivate that GCM sheet. 
just so I can get around, do what I gotta do. Everything's gotta load in. But yeah, so this is just, uh, this my lady and the little house she built. Um, I could take you guys through a quick little tour. It's just, uh, just kind of a cozy little place. This is when we kind of started getting creative with our bathrooms. Is this bathroom has a full-blown shower. Pretty nice. Um, now there's a lot going on in this one. So that's just kind of sitting on the waterfall here. This waterfall is pretty much what I picked for this location to be. Um, it's even linked over here to this side. There's a random little garage with this ATV in it. And now these things are funny because there's just they always want to slide like this. And so I don't really use them much. And the only way we could keep it in there was sideways because it just wigs out otherwise. But yeah, so we just lock it in basically this closet for the ATV. The garage here. But anyway, close the gates here. Uh, then we got this nice big old bridge here. This is one of the first things I built on this map because I realized right away this is kind of like a peninsula. It only, out of the four different directions, it only connects to one. Because you've got a river, waterfall slash lake, and then over there, this is pretty much mostly a drop until you get to this section right here. But pretty cool. Capture card's slightly wigging out. Not sure what it's not liking. But as long as it functions more or less, we'll get through this. Um, I got my little nice open field here. This is a nice big space. Right here, there's kind of this little river part. Um, you can get up if you end up falling or whatever, end up in this water somehow. You always end up right here, walk back up, and I got a little path set up. This is kind of the main area that I just sort of built at first. I kind of had trouble getting my vision together for this map. Like, I really found the location that I liked, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to build going into this one, so... This I just kind of built really quick to have all my crafting supplies and everything that I needed. Um, it's got the force field over here, which isn't even powered currently, so I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And then that's just pretty much that building. Then over here you have sort of a building that was more just cool. It's kind of like an archive. And then you follow those stairs up here and... This just kind of leads to a second level here that has like a glorified throne room with a trophy, a couple trophies. Um, kind of just was at this point trying to find a couple different things I could build to make this area more homey and a little bit filled up more. The wall here I ended up building to cover the one side of this area that was actually could be approached by wildlife. So there's a nice cool wall even with a little outpost up here. Just stand guard. Nothing's getting in my base. Small little crop plot, that, like usual. I always, I didn't really do a whole lot of the farming in this game. Something I maybe hope to change when I hit arc two. There are a couple of my wyverns here. Different flying mounts, couple tames, a little nice little chill area here where you can really just kind of soak up the view because this was a this was a base with a view. And that's just kind of the upper level. And you've got this little stair system here, which will take you down to this building I have built here, which is actually where I usually spawn in. It's kind of just a, it's a, it's a cabin. There's a little tiny storage right up here at the top. There's some beds down below, the fireplace, a balcony, and then that's the house I showed you that my babe built. You come down here, there's kind of just a, a fancy dock I've got more stairs leading down here, platforms with some rafts, and some sea mounts, even a little tavern over here, kind of like a place to eat, I guess, you know, in a stove there and everything. I've even managed to wall off this little part of the ocean, so this whole water section is uh, under my control, and if you jump in the water here, I've just got a mosasaur just to kind of make sure a couple rays um, but nothing really nothing really ever poses a threat over here and that squid over there is mine too um, not as worried about the squid because he freaks me out but he's over there guarding uh, 
the spot under the gate where technically something could swim through if it wanted, but not while he's there. And then I've got a little angelfish mating pen down there. That's really all that space is. Otherwise, I'd go show it to you guys, but it's just an open space for angelfish to mate. And that's it. So, and then you get out here in the water, and there's kind of this cool temple. I built this just because I was intrigued by the fact that you could build on water and stuff, and I just got a lone gig out here. So even if he goes crazy and starts destroying shit, he's out on the water. Not actually up there with my main base. thought that was smart. And it's kind of just a whole little fancy room here committed to him. There's a little space up top here where I guess you can hang out or whatever. And then there's these two side rooms. Just got a random table here. This little part I kind of just was more, I guess, more meant to be like a barracks, if anything. But it was sort of just me building at this point in the game because I'd already had everything that I needed and was just trying to do as much as I could. And that's, that's it for this map. This map, despite having a fancier base overall, that's it for the actual map itself. There's no other location to teleport to as in with like that previous map where I kind of had to teleport all over the place to show you guys everything but with that being two maps out of the way now um, we're gonna go ahead then Fjorder we're gonna do Lost Island Lost Island I believe was the last map to drop for this game uh, technically Fjorder now the first map I did was the most recent drop but Lost Island was the most recent drop before that, and this was also one of the free maps. This one, kind of the theme was ruins. There's been a couple different maps that have had sort of various different ruins that I've taken advantage of and had a couple different options for base building. But this map was pretty strong with the ruins, and I found like a castle type thing that was already mostly put together. Um, kind of a theme that I like to go for sometimes. I'll just get something that's easy to build on so that way I can really make a fancier base without having to do as much effort just getting foundations and walls and such built. But this, this map was one of those where I was able to kind of play that way. And it, it turned out pretty cool. This is the map, too, that I mentioned earlier that had the whole mannequin set up. So... This is kind of the top level of my castle, because that's that's literally what this map is. This base is a straight castle. And then, like I said, I've got all these mannequins here with various different outfits that you can kind of get in the game. Thought it was pretty cool. Security system, which we're not going to look at the cameras. They're kind of peppered throughout the castle grounds here. We'll see all the castle grounds as we go on here. Go up to the very top here, just to show you guys got a guard wyvern up here and this is kind of the top of the castle but that's really all that's up there you go downstairs from the room we started in and then this is kind of my you know my main area I've got my crafting some storage sort of a cool little castle area most of this was built um, the what little bit of I built was mostly just like the platforms and stuff so that I could place things that needed a foundation and just like the raw crafting materials but all the walls, the window, this doorway this stuff was all made when I got here I threw this stuff up here made an extra little porch because I needed more space for crafting stuff and then there's another door to kind of get into that area we were just in the cool thing about this base too is there are several towers throughout just natural towers they're all the same but uh, I have actually went up in each one of them, went ahead and made them guard towers, got storage and a torch. I'll go ahead and get do the good old GCM cheat so we can fly now. And you can kind of get a full view of the castle. This little building right here is what we just explored and we came out over here, checked out the tower. But if you zoom out, kind of look around this was the lost isles map there's a lot to it i really can't do any of these maps justice in my uh short little videos so unfortunately there's other videos out there you want to watch if you're looking for good base locations or just overall map tours but this is kind of just up on a snowier mountain pretty pretty distinguished pretty out in the open and there is a tower over there 
which I'm gonna we're gonna get to the tower in a minute, but you can see it from here, which is pretty cool. Um, back to the castle, so you've kind of seen basically the view of it. I kind of consider this part, I guess, the front entrance because to get over here, you've got kind of this natural bridge, which has a tunnel over here. The tunnel's cool. You would go through the tunnel and pop out over here. And then that's where you can kind of just connect to the ground. There's a path leading to the ground, various different ways down, or you can just continue on that way towards the volcano and whatnot. But when you get over here, this place is just kind of naturally fortified. There was even a convenient pad for my skiffs. But you would come over this way, and this is... There's a tower here, and also this there was this gate here, which I closed up with my own gate. But this is where you would come into the actual base. Come up these stairs here once you get through the door there. And you have the main building, which the bottom level is a teleporter. I guess I could have showed you guys that. Because we were up on the second and third level previously. However, the second level comes out on the other side like I showed you guys. But yeah, that's our teleporter for how we get around. And then... You've got come over you come over here and there's kind of this other courtyard with another gate leading out to this back area which there's nothing back there well that's pretty much it thought it was cool and then I had some of the tames for this map mostly when I'm playing this game and there's new maps I try to grab the tames that at least that are specific to that map so you had like this guy you had these monkey guys which were apparently a real pain to go up against I never really messed with them and I think that was it for this map so then, as far as the rest of the base, that's kind of just where I kept the Thames, right down here by the back door. But you also had this little fancy kind of setup over here, like these ruins, um, opposite here of the castle part. So if you were to come outside, say, the side door here, so the front entrance right there, you know, you come up over there, come in there, and then you kind of come back here, you would have, you'd be looking at this. And I have a little tiny pen here. For some of the other new guys on this map, which were these guys. Uh, these guys are just kind of contained to this area. I decided to box it in. It's just some pure ruins, but see that I had to do some some janky stuff like that. And then this area, it had a tower, but I just kind of turned this into like a training area. This would be more ideal, actually, if you were like an archer. So that, I thought that was kind of cool, just to make use of the space. But then you would come over here, take these stairs one way or the other, and you would end up in this little section which I don't know what I was really going for here just kind of as a mix of ideas I had like lab coats because you had you know your experimental technology here or whatnot and this is actually where the console is for this map as far as like looking at the security cameras um, like I said there's some kind of spread out throughout the con uh, the complex here this is one right here actually so every time I was looking through a security camera I was through one of these you place this somewhere and then you go to the console and you can see it um, but that's pretty much it for this one There's some glitchies going on there this base does have a second location it is actually that tower that I showed you guys in the distance and that's that tower is pretty cool but I didn't other than these two locations this base doesn't get as complicated as my other ones with teleporters but I thought it was really cool because it was two cool looking base locations and you could see they could both see each other in the distance um, When you come up to the tower here, I'll show you guys real quick The castle was like way over there on the tip of that mountain So we're at the tower now You would have to kind of come around the back of it and there was this little opening here Which I have since secured and closed with a doorway And the tower gets a little interesting because it has a base it can go upstairs which we will go upstairs in a moment here but it also has a basement so you come down here there's this little little cellar underneath the I guess this is kinda like a lighthouse or something um, nothing really going on here just a little storage I threw a generator down here but I have a turret here to secure this because in the cellar here there is this opening that leads down into a whole cave system. Well, now it's cool because it's kind of complex, and this is all, again, underneath that tower. 
and there's even a way to leave so technically this is kind of like a hidden exit from underneath the lighthouse tower now if you decide to go this other way here and go down this tunnel a little ways there's kind of a deeper cave system which exits on another part of the mountain but it just takes a lot longer to get to that exit and there are a bunch of spiders and stuff along the way so you'd be fighting they don't ever make their way up this way so this turret here is kind of not really needed but i went ahead and put this here in case any random spider ever decided to wander all the way up here somehow he would meet a face full of lead as soon as he entered my cellar here <laughs> Now, all that aside, this base isn't super complex because it's a tower, but you can come back up here to that stairwell that we saw previously, and it's loading in goofy because I'm moving too fast, but it's just a really long stairwell. It's going to take us all the way up to the top of the tower here, where there is a whole other room, and I kind of just decked it out, thought it made it sort of fancy, sort of homey, but it didn't go too hard always interesting with the lighting because of these windows but see I had to make a even make foundations to have some of the furniture like a bed because this area you actually can't really build on the way that you want to you can build certain things on it but it's why I didn't end up making this one my main base got a cool little fireplace here actually a pretty awesome view if you look out these windows so this tower is pretty cool for what it is and then the stairs go up just a little bit more to this outside area here which is like the top of the tower and it comes you'll follow the stairs kind of in a small little circle and then it just comes up to here where there's this little torch and that's it that's the tower so but now you can leave the tower and fly like all the way back over here and there's the other base so now you guys kind of understand the distance and how you know we got from there to there it's always going to take a second to catch up with the loading because i just broke the game by moving way faster than you're ever meant to but that's pretty much it for this map and this build that's another base it's the crystal isles map for this one i think i'm going to go ahead and get through the free maps um might actually make this a two-part video just in case i don't want this video to be too too long We'll see how this goes, but we're going to go ahead and continue to focus on the free map. So, since I don't have the center, we've still got Ragnarok and Val Guerrero. Uh, Ragnarok, we're going to go ahead and load up, because this was a simpler base, all things considered. Ragnarok was another map out of, like, three maps, I would say. Um, the previous map and this map were two of the three that really focused heavily on having, like, ruins and stuff. As far as, like, really cool places to build, and... Ironically, on this map, I chose to not really go with any ruins. I just kind of made my own base on what I found, or what I thought was a semi-cool location. Um, this, I've, I've definitely reached burnout in this game before, and even with the new map, it was kind of, it was fun building it because it was a unique base, but nothing's really changed in the game throughout the course of most of these maps. So you kind of just end up doing a lot of the same stuff and trying to think of different ways you can do it. But this map, I had reached a little bit of a burnout, so I didn't get quite as creative as I would sometimes. Go ahead and hit that GCM. So I can fly. Um, really quick, I'll just show you guys the location. It was kind of uh, a little bit of a climb to get up here. And I've even got a little guard tower here. That's all this is, just a guard tower overseeing this pond type area that's down here it connects to the ocean thought it was cool i don't have anything down there though i did not actually mess with the water at all on this map which is another thing that makes this map unique you almost always have some relationship to a big water a big body of water i do have this kind of pond here that leads off into like a swamp jungle type area which we won't really go mess with it's got a guard spino and a guard wyvern this is one of my favorite wyverns actually he turned out cool and then I think this guy was one of the new guys that came with this map, Baryonyx. There was my building station, I call it. And then I thought this over here was cool. Um, if I was ever going to come back and build anything in this map, I would probably actually load up this map and take advantage of this little cave system that's here, literally right next to my base. Kind of wraps around and goes out here. 
it goes that way too. So you could do some pretty cool stuff in this little cave. Uh, maybe that is what I'll come back and build with sometime. But then you have, since I blocked off the main land entrance and just kind of blocked myself against the water here to make for a cool little base. Um, it, this is just one big building that I built and it's kind of unique as far as how I built it. As you come in the front gate here, um, this is where I spawned in at. There's a little way to kind of look outside the gate here, window on here. And it's got a railing that goes all the way around and connects to the back of the base, which we'll get to in a minute here. But when you first come in, I kind of kept this one a little nature themed in the center because I had some s different creatures here. This map, the cool thing about Ragnarok was it brought some fun new creatures to the mix, like the horse here, I believe. He's really cool. And the griffin. The griffin's one of my favorite flying mounts. So we just got some really cool stuff. Uh, I don't remember if the, the polar bear might have been a new thing too, but I'm not sure. I don't remember. But you go back to the behind all the tames here, and there's kind of just like a little food area. You can take this ladder up to the walkway that I was just looking at. And now we're in the back part. So like when you came in over there, there's kind of a little hallway system. You can take a couple different ways to get back here where I have pretty much the crafting stuff. Now my brother, uh, he helped me a little bit with this map. We didn't get too into it, but we basically just had two bedrooms in the back here, one for each of us. And that's all it really was. This map kind of uh, could have done a lot more with it. This is probably the least ambitious map that I've done. I, I did like this map for a lot of reasons and this base is pretty cool for what it is. But that's really all there is to tell here. Um, one other thing too, we'll get to it eventually. But Primitive Plus, that's a different mode on this game, which uh, you can use on any map. But I, it almost just, it's kind of, it is like its own map, really, in a way. Now we're going to go ahead and look at Val Guerrero here. Val Guerrero is another map that I would say I went a little bit hard on. I kind of had this one my lady helped me on. Um, She's kind of been a presence on three different maps, I'd say. Most of the people that I've played this game with, uh, it's either I was completely by myself on a map, or I had the help of one of three different people across kind of the vast, long amount of time I've spent playing this game over the years so far. But my lady definitely had a stronger presence in this one, and we just kind of did something silly together. It was one of the more wild ideas I've had in this game, for sure. It was fun. First off, let's make sure we have our cheat ready to go. Now, before we get into the intricacies of this, we're just going to come at it from the sky. and just ease into this one. I don't have a complicated teleport system on this map. This is another map that just has one location, and that's it. Um, we're built on some water here. I've got a light dock here with sort of an interesting little battleship. Um, I used some rafts, these right here. I've done a couple different interesting boat builds. It's really hard to make a boat that makes sense in this as far as like actually building something, but I did build an actual boat in Ark. So <laughs> if that gives anyone an idea, it's a little hard to sail around, but it actually does work. And I've got, even got cannons on the side here. So that's cool. That was just a personal little accomplishment there. Now when you come over here, you approach the dock. I've kind of got this area sort of locked down. I've even got little Officer Champo here walking around. You would normally go up that way. That's the way we're going to go. There's an elevator here, but it's mo mainly used to get to the dock quickly from the town that's up top. I'm going to go ahead and go over here. I've got a full semi-brutal looking army committed to protecting this place pretty much. Even the Quetz is a war Quetz. You got a buff guy. Got a whole bunch of different guys, so you wouldn't want to walk up on this base. But leaving the dock, you would come over here, past this army that's just there to pretty much keep anything out and look cool. You would come up this way. There's a little guard tower right there. This area I blocked off. It would normally continue on, but you don't. I don't just have it, so you can't go that way. And you would come over this way, and there's the front gate here with Hedwig even watching. You come in the gate here, you're greeted by this uh, aggressively excited guy, and you're just like immediately what's going on here. This is 
the Shinehorn City, pretty much. Me and my lady, uh, we breeded a whole bunch of Shinehorns, which were one of the exclusive critters for this map, I believe. Or it was either this map or the map before it, I want to say. And we built an entire little base just committed to them. And sometimes it even kind of follows the role. But there's a bunch of different buildings here. I'm going to do a quick little tour. Make one stop at a time here. Hopefully my capture card will stop being a pain. But this is kind of just your local inn here. House bleeding. Huh? We got really creative. There's a random goat in there that we just trapped in the, the inn. And that's really all that is. You got a guy here to help you out. Then over here, this is basically kind of the town ambulance. It's the robotic quets, and he has a building on top here that has kind of like a paramedic type situation and that's what we were going for with the chemistry bench there there is usually a little guy yeah first responder goldie we usually put him up there as a paramedic but he just doesn't ever want to stay in that actual quetz building for some reason and down below here we actually have what is kind of like a little hospital there's jenny yeah he has some pokemon reference and then this is actually like the doctor's office got a little table and everything to operate on this like i said this map was a little it was a little different it was fun then this here if you kind of go out from the hospital there's also sort of like a market here really yeah so you got a bunch of different little things going on kind of in some some stands here different things i thought that was pretty cool and then if you turn around from the market here, you have a bathhouse, which I actually did not build this, so I can't even take credit for this one. And it's actually kind of cool. You've got your water storage up top here, and then each of these little rooms is sort of potentially a shower room. You've even got a fully irrigated and everything. It's pretty cool, actually. Then if you go around from the behind the bathhouse, there is a ramp here. Now this takes you to that elevator, if it would stop wigging out here. This elevator goes down to the dock, which is where we came in at. That's the elevator I was telling you guys about that you don't really use from the bottom. Because it's a crank elevator, so it's hard to bring it back up. But anyway, we'll come back over here towards kind of the town center before I get too much on the outskirts. because. This building here, this really is kind of the base. This is the center, the centerpiece. Um, it was visible from when you came in the front gate. It's visible from the back gate, which we'll get to. Um, you come in here, it's your crafting area. But I also made it really nice and open compared to most of the bases I make, so I thought it was really cool. Um, there's a second level to this, sort of. You come up here and... There's kind of, normally I have, I think, my griffin over here. I'm not sure where he ended up. He's somewhere. I probably used him and didn't bring him back. But I have a griffin mount here. So normally he's kind of part of the, the look, really, because he'll be standing right above the front entrance. And you'll just see a massive griffin. Kind of like how that pterodon is on the other side there. But that's really all the second level is. It's just kind of a cool little place to have some flying mounts. And then you take this ladder here and this tower that's attached to the second level to get to what the third level is. And this is just a fancy little war room that I built with a Gears of War reference and a fancy little goat guarding all this. And that's pretty much, that's the main building. So we've got two other sides here. Now that we've kind of broken into the front part, we've got this section over here which we'll get into in a second. Oh, there's the actual griffin I was talking about right there. He would belong up there normally. We've got the back gate, and we've got this section over here. So we're gonna just work our way kind of in that direction, in the back part of the base here. And we've got some kind of gods overlooking too. Those guys are just there, I never use them. Their purpose is to do nothing other than stand there and look down on the town. <laughs> but we go over here, we've got a slight kind of zoo type taming pen set up there's even like kind of a picnic area over here big old table all kinds of food stuff pretty cool 
Normally I can't get this thing to work, so it's funny that I got it working on this map. You come over here. Yeah, there's another griffin on top of a building. That's kind of the idea I was going for on the other one. This is kind of standard temple type thing. Church, whatever you want to imagine, I guess. Um, hidden door, though, to the little side office, which I thought was just kind of cool. That was taking advantage of some bushes that wanted to spawn in this building despite having everything else here. And yet another fancy bathroom. We've really nailed the bathrooms in this game, I tell you what, even though they're not always the most functional besides the toilet. Um, now you come over here, and you kind of have like a court. You have all the various different wyverns, and you've got kind of this one guy that's not technically a wyvern, but in my mind he still is. Uh, he's like this jumping lizard kind of thing but he's huge he's cool you just sit here and get judged by divine dragons and also if you ever wanted a wyvern there's plenty to choose from now you come over here climb up this little ladder here and i kind of just got this little safety bunker nothing really to it and that's all it is it's just a space here i thought it was cool because i never i never used a gate like this before so I just made up an excuse to have a gate like this. That's pretty much the whole reason how this building got created. Um, over here behind the dragons, you've got this ladder here. Another little patrolling officer. <laughs> and you've got a cool platform here with a guard tower that overlooks this epic kind of view here behind the base. And also a long bridge system which is another thing that we're going to be getting into here. But before we do that, we're going to backtrack back over here and look at this one other building that's in this corner of the base that we're currently exploring. This building is kind of, I guess, sort of a house, sort of. You come in here, though, this bottom area just looks like a glorified bathroom. I don't think I was really worried much about this building. It was just for the purpose of having easy access to this next level, I think, here. And also just kind of at a certain point where I was just building buildings just because I wanted to create some, this, this like image of a town kind of as much as I could. But anyway, you get all the way up here finally after you get through that building and there's kind of a little, little system you can take to get all the way over here to this building, which is kind of like a glorified training arena. Thought it was kind of cool. But what the real thing over here is, though, is if you come back down here, and instead of going up to the arena, you take this path. This path takes you down to this bridge that we saw from the view up top. And then even when you get kind of halfway up the bridge here, there's this whole ladder you can come down here. And then this is just like a, a nature area. You just come down here and literally just look around in nature while also still being kind of safe up on the bridge in case there's a random dino or something running around. But anyway, you would cross the bridge a little bit more, and then you get to this kind of halfway point where I went ahead and made a connection to the ground. I even had a guard spino nearby because there's this cool sort of lake here. I got a raft on the lake, and if you come all the way over here, walking away from the bridge, um, I didn't have any path or anything made. There is a cool little kind of just waterfall creek area included with even a beehive which has valuable resources and even a meditation spot. So just a cool little spot where I didn't really put anything over here. I just wanted to actually like appreciate this little scene here for what it was. But you go back to the bridge. Um, if you continue crossing the bridge across the lake, eventually you'll reach a long elevator this elevator is a fully functional one so it works both ways easily there's no cranking but you take the elevator all the way up and you'll hit another tiny little bridge which immediately connects to this this two-part tree base i've got going on here um, i think this was back when i kind of first started messing with tree platforms and it's better if they're used with certain trees so i just kind of wanted to build something with a tree platform so as you can see this first platform here doesn't even really have much going on it's got a little bit it's got a a pretty honestly it's pretty anxiety giving 
ladder situation. Like, if you were climbing it, you'd see what I mean here. You kind of look up, but then you look down, and it's just like... It's weird. And even if you fall down, there are some predators in these woods, so it's kind of sketchy. But anyway... And <laughs> Diablo the goat. You get up top here, there's a second level to this tree base where I kind of just use this platform as like a just a blank slate to build a little cabin on. And I believe this was a work in progress. It's kind of cool because it had a glass ceiling taking advantage of this whole view here. Um, I didn't really get too much into this. This is pretty much where I left off on this map. I think either I had stopped playing or a new map came out or both, one or the other. But that's as far as I got with this. I thought it was pretty cool. It's actually a good little minute away from the main base here. We, If we come back to the main base here, now there's two more things to really show. And I know this is a lot. This this is definitely my most involved base that I've ever built. It's probably my biggest. Um, we've got this little thing right here. If we go back over to where the back gate was, sort of behind the town center and everything else, I've got a little stable here with some prized horses all ready to go. Um, if you come inside here, there's a... I guess somebody fell to their death at some point. <laughs> but anyway, you would climb this ladder, and it would take you all the way up to the top, spit you out on the side here, walk up the little railing, and then there's just kind of this whole upper level here, which I've blocked off so random creatures can't get through and possibly fall down into my base, which is on the lower level. But you even kind of walk over here, and technically now you can see outside of the main gate here which is that right there and there's a outside here there's this quick little path that comes out this way and then there is there's the world you know there's there's this big kind of rock wall between my base here and the outside and I've just blocked it off here this way and I also just even though there's the gate I kind of have this frontal defense wave here of an attack spino um, actually that's an allosaurus yeah and some sentries and barricades, so anything's going to be pretty deterred to come this way. I just saw that a shine horn died. Um, every now and then, I do have some shine horns that get out into the wild. There are so many shine horns just running around this town that I can't really contain them all. But since they're breeding, there'll always be more. But back to the base here. Now, the only thing left to really show, I've got this cool little kind of monument that I built here. It's just this, what you see. It's not really functional in any way. Just a cool place to sit. And then what's left here is this little structure here, which is kind of meant to be like the human house. And also it was the the breeding place, literal breeding place for the shine horns because we've got little shrine horn pens here. Looks like we've even got a couple more since the last time I played here. Um, they may need to actually get moved and thrown out because they might be stuck in the bridge. But this is where we started having shine horns and they started breeding and then we started throwing them out into the city. But real quick, before we go inside the house here, got uh, some interesting mounts here. Got like the mantis, the snake. Call them snake. You know, that's one of my favorite words. Uh, we got this rock troll type thing. He's like a sloth. I'm not exactly sure what he is. Um, and then when you get to the back of the house here, there actually is a whole backyard here. This whole little table area you come down here there's like a little chill area where you just have a again another beautiful view the forge is right up there but um this area right here is actually a greenhouse with just a really big bug involved um, i think this greenhouse is actually getting started it just yeah it needed fertilizer or something i don't remember like I said, the theme in this game is kind of just greenhouses don't really go anywhere. I always end up starting it and never really commit fully to it. But now to check out the base here, you come in, there's like this really cool sort of just the way this is built. Um, you can really kind of come in from any direction once you get through the first door here. Uh, there's so many openings and whatnot. But you get in here and it's got a lot. It's got this chill area here kind of a back section here which this area was meant to be I guess kind of the public space because you got like a bathroom here you've got sort of a changing room you've got a chill area um, this was pretty cool looking you've got the kitchen and the kitchen actually is pretty cool in this one 
actually really went uh, I actually did help with this I didn't build most of this house but I really did help with the kitchen here because I kind of I had a little vision and I saw some ways I could help so this turned out pretty cool I'm really proud of this little kitchen but you would go upstairs here and there is sort of a second level but it's just kind of overlooking the bottom level mainly it's got this little back room here which is supposed to be filled with art um, which probably will never happen because it's I think it's involving dye and stuff um, my girlfriend thought she was gonna be doing a lot of painting at some point and then we just kinda stopped playing the game so that room was meant to be filled with some kind of colors but you would come back over here and take this stairs up and you get the level up here where those RGs are hanging out like you saw come all the way across just to get another staircase that goes up and you get over here and there's this epic moose guy, which is kind of like the escape mount. You got a whole ramp. Every, after everything we just went through, you got a whole ramp here that can to connect straight to the ground, and you can take the moose and take off if you needed. For some reason in this space, we really kind of went with like the escape theme because, as you see, he could get you out of here real quick. And then even right there, that elevator is kind of meant to be like a quick exit down to the dock if you need to leave the city for whatever reason. Um, you even got the beds here. As far as... The rest of the base, um, there is one, technically two more levels. You get up here to the top level, which technically you would have done from the other side here. There's a ladder. I'm just lazy. But you would cross over to this bridge and get over here, and there's this kind of whole section here, which has, you come into this middle level here, and there's a both a lower part and an upper part actually this is another way I guess you could get up top here with a stray ladder that we didn't notice before I want to say there was more in this section it's been a while since I've really played I guess not um, but you come all the way up top and there's just kind of a view here another view of everything the reason you're seeing all this yellow stuff is because there's so many different animals with lighting and stuff on them but that is pretty much that's Val Guerrero. That is the Shinehorn map you guys have now seen. That is a little ridiculous. And that map took a long time. A lot of hours went into that one. So, but now that we've seen all of the free maps, that leaves us with these maps. We've got one, two, three, four, five. These maps I'm going to do in a second video. But before I do anything, there is one other map I think I'm going to show off in this one. To do that, I have to switch the game to Primitive Plus, which is like changing the whole way that the game, like it just has to reload and everything. Primitive Plus actually, uh, I wish they would have done a little bit more with it because it has entirely separate engrams and all kinds of stuff. You can't actually even use all the maps for Primitive Plus technically. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to load up out of all the maps even that you can have primitive plus on I only actually have one map that has a primitive plus file on it and fortunately it was actually one of the maps that I kinda did a co-op playthrough with with some other people multiple people it was something that I started my girlfriend joined me on and then shortly after a friend joined and we kinda created this little town together before we stopped playing that map and it's kinda the blueprint of maybe for a little bit of what I'm planning to hopefully do when arc 2 drops as far as kinda build a community that sort of has like a center and then expands out from said center. It's not maybe going to look exactly the same, but it's it's sort of this little sense of community that I go for. We did get some Arc Two uh, info over the weekend for, but it wasn't really anything cool. Um, mostly just talked about there's going to be the, the new game. There's going to be like this AI presence of human characters running around. So I thought that'd be kind of cool, like a rival tribe to butt heads with. Um, it's going to be a 2023 game, and it should be coming to Game Pass, most likely day one. And we did get a new little cinematic trailer for it, but it didn't show off any gameplay or anything, so unfortunate. Now, it's nighttime here, so unfortunately, that kind of keeps me from being able to show off this map as well. Uh, one thing that I'm noticing as soon as I walk into this map here, lighting was not something that we really did too well on this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead. 
there's a couple different sheets I use on this one. I got the GCM here, so I got the God mode. Um, I'm gonna go out here real quick. But another cheat you can do is cheat set time of day. And you would have to type it out just exactly like how I'm doing here, or otherwise it just won't work, it won't register. And uh, it goes off of military time, so you have to like know your time, but depending on what time of day you want, I just kind of go with this because it's what was in, when I looked up this cheat, it was the time they used, so. Turns it into day, ta-da. But anyway, this little building that I spawned in here um, it's kind of like my cabin, really. It's like my little house. Um, they had come up with a couple new materials for this, so... And we kind of got a little fancy with the painting. I let my girlfriend sort of go wild, so that's why I got a purple house with a colorful chimney and everything. It's <laughs> but it was kind of cool. You can already see, like, some new stuff here that they added for Primitive Plus. Like, even the table looks different. You come out here, we found this really shallow little pond kind of just backed against the wall here near the ocean. Now, if you come over here in the ocean, I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys what's over here real quick. There's not a whole lot. Um, you got little teepees even. But I kind of did some more interesting raft building. This one here, this is what w me and my friend, we've considered this to be a taming raft because it's easy to get back up onto from any direction. Sometimes when you're out in the water and you fall off of a raft, it's sort of hard to get back up in a panic while you're avoiding a predator and trying to jump back up just the right way. So this sort of solves that problem and also allows you to pretty much walk as close to the edge as you can possibly get without falling in the water, making it easier to kind of shoot certain tames while you're trying to tame them or whatever, or even just get rid of them. And then there's even this small little no obstruction tower up top if you needed a slightly better vantage point. So that's the tame raft. And then this here, this is just stupid. This was kind of my net, uh, another attempt to make a ship of some kind. And I ended up just stopping after I built it a little bit just because I realized it was not coming together how I had hoped at all. Um, it's pretty limited what you can do on these things. But I managed to just kind of take advantage of some space here and decided to see, I guess, how big I could build this thing. And this is about like the biggest ship you can have, really. I even managed to use a little catwalk here um maybe i'll build a tower at some point but yeah i don't really ever see myself actually using this raft it was more just kind of like a what if you know <laughs> but you come back over here to the town and you can kind of see it now from a distance sort of what this map is but it's a tiny little this one's more like a village and you've got the taming pin over here sort of attached to it all it's kind of a separate area um, i've got a couple different tames here one of the new guys at this point i think were the allosaurus which they work well in packs of three or more because then you get an alpha and they kind of all benefit off of each other. And then even in the back area of this pen here though, despite it being separate and having a gate specifically for the Thames, I did sort of sneak in a little back door here, which I'm thinking of using kind of like a similar taming pen setup for Arc 2 when we do our new map and actually play vanilla. I think about the build a little bit more when I'm not cheating because it takes a lot of resources to even be able to do something simple like this, you know, build these walls and whatnot and the gate. And then you've got, this is actually a taming pen. I would go ahead and there's a little door for me to sneak in and out of because most dinos can't fit through there. But I would come in here, close this up, spawn something in here and then I could run out real quick if I needed to and safely either shoot stuff from the windows with trank darts or force tame it more likely. But getting into the base here, this is kind of the front. Got a little guard T-Rex here. You come right in the front here. And right away, you hit sort of what I kind of made is like a dino garage. Except there wasn't really any major dino to put in here. So that's why you just see a wolf. <laughs> I thought the idea seemed really cool. And we I think we had the T-Rex in here at one point. But someone vouched for wanting to have the T-Rex guarding the front entrance since it's not completely closed. We got another tower though, so you kind of got a decent view of everything here from this little garage type thing. Technically, if you go over here to the tip of this part right here, guard tower right there as well, giving you kind of a nice little view of the surrounding ocean nearby Ice Mountain. 
this is the base map so there's nothing fancy here this is actually the first map um, even though I said earlier I didn't have really anything to show you guys on this map primitive plus is kind of something different um, the original map that or the original base that I had built on this map is long gone and it's one of the ones that I was really proud of but once you come back to the base here we got a couple more things to show off real quick um, this is a friend's house I kind of like how he did his porch upstairs he gave himself a little yard he didn't really fill the inside of it and it's sort of funny it's like totally overgrown with trees now he sort of came in when we were just kind of finishing this this little build I guess so he managed to get his house built but he didn't do much beyond that kind of got a tree grown out of him now to tell you how long I guess it's been since we played this game um, and then next door to his house here you have a warehouse type setup and I've done w warehouses differently in different maps here you kind of come up here there's like a little reception area and then you would drop down to the warehouse and it, yeah it's interesting you can kind of even see like the growth like all these trees and stuff weren't here it's just kind of like a lot of the experiences I had in No Man's Sky where you just you come into a area and a base is overgrown by nature because you haven't been there in so long there's another player this is what happens to the players when they're not here um, we did come over here we kind of built a guest house nothing was really done with this building it's kind of just like a duplex type thing we had two other friends that were going to that were considering joining us on this map um, I think we played one play session and then that was kind of when we all decided we were moving on I don't I don't exactly remember what happened we just stopped playing this map um, either the next map came out or another game came out or we someone just got tired of logging into this one Either way, um, we had a guest house ready to go to accommodate new new clan members. Um, then you come over here, and there's like this... This is kind of the town center of this village. It's probably my most least impressive town center. It's just a box. It's got some unique crafting stuff. Again, this is like some primitive plus exclusive type stuff you're seeing right here. Um, including the bonfires, which I always thought were one of the coolest things Ark has had is the bonfires because I like just having big fancy flames. And you can only have that in Primitive Plus. But when you get inside the town center here, it all makes more sense because, yeah, it's just, it's your crafting hub. We don't have uh, fabricators. There's nothing uh, that does, nothing with tech. Um, your, metal, your usage of metal is cut down drastically. So you don't need all that. It's mostly just wood and stone. Um, and then you can swim across the little pond here. Wow, there's another person just uh, was feeding the fishes. And there's kind of just a little boat to, to sail around if you wanted to sail on this pond. But this is my girlfriend's house. You know, she loved, loved to build these crazy, intricate, multi-level homes. It's kind of just overlooking the rest of the village. I like how she had hers kind of over here, though, against the, uh, the cliff side. Um... Also, kind of some of the stuff, well, she's even got a ladder down to the water, so you could have come in here the other that way as well. A little bed area. Sometimes Ark isn't always as friendly when it comes to building stuff, too, because sometimes you'll have, like, a certain vision in mind, but then you'll end up running into major obstacles, like with the pillars or even, like, building against certain objects. You might not be able to place a piece how you normally would be able to or how you would think you would be able to, and it ends up kind of crippling your build, so... Sometimes things come together a little differently when that's the case. You just sort of make do. But all things considered, um, she went for sort of a little challenging build here. And even though there's a lot to it and kind of a lot of moving around, it, it is a really cool build. This top area here is pretty awesome too. Just got like a totally boxed in like ceiling here. With a, Go ahead and light that fire. That's pretty much it mostly for this little place. Um, there is one other part of this build normally you're meant to uh exit the base go around and then just kind of travel through the woods and you would eventually get to this little area right here as you can see but you come down here and it's kind of a slightly dangerous area you have various different things that spawn in the area but i, I got like a little hidden fortress that has its own little wyvern guard here um, with a slight bridge leading up to the front gate and I've already got a bug that wants to start a fight. Um, I already outrun him. I was going to go ahead and blow him away. But we're going to go ahead and just hit the underwater part of this real quick. 
So I'm now underneath the base. You can kind of see it's sort of just the floating, uh, the floating platforms, I forget what they're called, but I did make a little hidden entrance here in the back. So you can swim in. Now we're inside the base here. And you would come over here to this little ramp type area. And now I'm inside the base. Nothing really in here. Um, this was something I built. I never had any plans of putting anything in here. I just kind of liked the location and I wanted to build like a actual fortress of swords. So you would come up here. There is a second level. So technically this whole base could be functional. I think the original plan was uh, we had built our little village as I just showed you guys, and the plan was eventually we were going to move inland a little bit and actually make use of this fortress, but that just our, our playthrough never made it that far. But I had the fortress all built and ready to go for us. And all things considered, it is still pretty cool. Um, like I said, there's some raptors and stuff out there, so this wyvern would be busy if we actually tried to make use of this area. But that's 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 pretty much it. That's uh, as far as that's it for this primitive plus map. I'm going to go ahead and call it on the this video. That's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a part two of this video. We're going to go ahead. We did the free all the free content for this game. Um, the next video, part two, is going to be a couple more bases, but it's going to cover the paid DLC maps that this game has launched over the years. And I'm going to show you guys my build setups on those. So if you like this video, make sure you're there for that one. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.